Jude Law Actor David Jude Hayworth Law is an English actor. He began his career in theater before landing small roles in various British television productions and feature films. Born, December 29, 1972, age 51 years, Lewisham, London, United Kingdom. Spouse, Philippa Cohn, M. 2019, Sadie Frost, M. 1997, to 2003. Children, Iris Law, Raph Law, Rudy Law. Height, 1.78 meters. Parents, Peter Law, Maggie Law. Jude Law is an English actor. Law has been nominated for two Academy Awards and continues to build a prolific body of work that spans from early successes such as Gattaca, 1997, and The Talented Mr. Ripley, 1999, to more recent turns as Dr. John Watson in Sherlock Holmes, 2009, and Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, 2011, as Hugo's father in Hugo, 2011, and in the titular role in Dom Hemingway, 2013. David Jude Law was born on December 29, 1972 in Lewisham, London, England, to Margaret Ann, Hayworth, and Peter Robert Law, both of whom taught at comprehensive schools, his father later became a headmaster. Law has said that he was named after both the book Jude the Obscure and the song Hey Jude. In 1992, Jude began his stage career. He starred in many plays throughout London and was nominated for the Laurence Olivier Award of Outstanding Newcomer after doing the play Indiscretions in London, he moved and did it again on Broadway. This time, he was alongside Kathleen Turner. He then received a Tony nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actor. He was then rewarded the Theatre World Award. After Broadway, Jude started on the big screen, in many independent films. His first big-named movie was Gattaca, 1997, with Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawke. He also had a good role in Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, 1997. Jude's latest rise to fame has been because of the talented Mr. Ripley, 1999, in which he plays Matt Damon's obsession. The film did very well at the box office, and critics loved Jude's acting. Following the success of Gattaca, 1997, and the talented Mr. Ripley, 1999, Law's feature film career continued to gain momentum throughout the late 1990s and early 2000s with roles in such films as Enemy at the Gates, 2001, Road to Perdition, 2002, I Heart Huckabees, 2004, The Aviator, 2004, and many others. Law is one of three actors, along with Colin Farrell and Johnny Depp, to take over acting responsibilities in the Terry Gilliam project, The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, 2009, following Heath Ledger's death. Law is a partner in the production company Natural Nylon. His partners include Johnny Lee Miller, Ewan McGregor, and his ex-wife Sadie Frost. Law has been active in many charitable activities and supports several different foundations and causes, doing work for organizations including the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Make Poverty History, Breast Cancer Care and others. Law is also a peace advocate, and in 2011, participated in street protests against the rule of Alexander Lukashenko in Belarus. Law married Sadie Frost in 1997 and the couple had two sons, Rafferty and Rudy, and a daughter, Iris, before divorcing in 2003. Law and Alfie, 2004, Co-star Sienna Miller were engaged to be married in 2005 and separated in 2006. They would later rekindle their relationship in 2009, splitting once again in 2011. Law and American model Samantha Burke had a brief relationship in 2008 that resulted in the birth of Law's fourth child, daughter Sophia. Law's fifth child, with an ex-girlfriend, Catherine Harding, was born in 2015. Family Spouses Philippa Cohn, April 30, 2019, present, two children. Sadie Frost, September 2, 1997, to October 29, 2003, divorced, three children. Children. Rudy Indiana Otis Law. Sophia Burke Law. Ada Law. Rafferty Law. Iris Law. Rudy Law. Parents. Margaret and Hayworth. Peter Robert Law. Trademarks.
often plays a representative of the ideal man, Gattaca, the talented Mr. Ripley, AI artificial intelligence. Bold green eyes. Rich smooth voice. Trivia. When joining the NYMT, he was placed in the wrong dormitory because they thought he was a girl because of his name. He never told anyone but was soon caught and moved. Former roommate of Ewan McGregor and Johnny Lee Miller. During a guest appearance on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, 1992, Jay Leno asked him where his name came from, and he replied that he was named after the Beatles song, Hey Jude. His parents were both orphans. Became engaged to actor Sienna Miller in January 2005. In July 2005, she ended the engagement and he publicly apologized for cheating on her with nanny Daisy Wright. They reconciled briefly and broke up again in 2006. Kate Moss is the godmother of his daughter Iris. Model Samantha Burke revealed that she is seven months pregnant with a baby girl, by law. They met each other outside of a New York night club while Law was shooting Sherlock Holmes, 2009, and had a very short relationship that was already over by the time Burke discovered she was pregnant. Good friends with Johnny Lee Miller and Ewan McGregor. As of 2022, has appeared in three films that were nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, The Aviator, 2004, Hugo, 2011, and The Grand Budapest Hotel, 2014. Considered for the role of Will Turner in Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, 2003. Has a tattoo on his left forearm of words from the Beatles song, Sexy Sadie, which states, You came along to turn on everyone sexy Sadie, representing his ex-wife, Sadie Frost. He kept the shirts as characters in The Talented Mr. Ripley, 1999, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, 1997, and Gattaca, 1997 wore in the scenes when they were killed. Learned basic saxophone technique for the film The Talented Mr. Ripley, 1999, dropped out of school at age 17 to star in the daytime soap families, 1990. Plays the lead role in Alfie, 2004, and Sleuth, 2007. Both films had previously been made with Michael Caine in the roles played by Law. Quotes my only obligation is to keep myself and other people guessing. I would never know how to sell myself as a sex symbol. That's not how I'm programmed. Dot. You go to the National with your parents and think, I'd love to be here. And then suddenly you are. It's a dream come true. I've always thought Prince Charming in Cinderella was the most boring role, I'd rather be the Wicked Witch. I honestly have no interest in celebrity whatsoever. If anything, I always cringe at it because it takes away from what I am, which is an actor who wants to be better and do better things. I don't want to do anything that I'm not passionate about. Success, and even life itself, wouldn't be worth anything if I didn't have my wife and children by my side. They mean everything to me. I have no problem with nudity. My friend Ewan McGregor and I are starkers in most of our films. I think it's a bigger risk following a part that plays up your looks than it is to try and carve out a career as an actor. On his role in The Talented Mr. Ripley, 1999, I told Anthony that if I play Dickie Greenleaf, I want to eat in the best restaurants and drink the best wines every night because he would. About working on Enemy at the Gates, 2001, yeah, I got blown up, cut up da, I remember actually, when I had to go the Ripley premiere which was happening at that time. I arrived with this huge gash in my head. Very cool, really. About his injury during Dickie's death scene in The Talented Mr. Ripley, 1999, Matt, Damon, broke my rib. But I think I strained his neck, we got a little bit carried away. About how he got the role of Gigolo Joe in AI Artificial Intelligence, 2001, through one of those fantastical phone calls when your agent calls you and says Steven Spielberg is on the phone, he wants to speak to you about his next film. And once you've peeled yourself of the ceiling, you go clear's throat, yeah, great. About the paparazzi, I throw root vegetables at them. Bozy, from the movie Wild, 1997, was the first part one was ever offered, which I suppose is sort of an insult, because he's just the nastiest bastard. Well, I had to do a nude scene, in the play Indiscretions, and you're on stage naked, but you get over it, you do whatever you have to do. But the first night, my character is just getting out of the bath, and the rest of the crew had poured in freezing cold water. 
salaries. Sherlock Holmes, 2009, $9 million. Sleuth, 2007, $10 million. Closer, 2004, $9,500,000. Alfie, 2004, $8 million. Cold Mountain, 2003, $10 million. The Talented Mr. Ripley, 1999, $745,000. Quotes My only obligation is to keep myself and other people guessing. I would never know how to sell myself as a sex symbol. That's not how I'm programmed. Dot. You go to the National with your parents and think, I'd love to be here. And then suddenly you are. It's a dream come true. I've always thought Prince Charming in Cinderella was the most boring role, I'd rather be the Wicked Witch. I honestly have no interest in celebrity whatsoever. If anything, I always cringe at it because it takes away from what I am, which is an actor who wants to be better and do better things. I don't want to do anything that I'm not passionate about. Success, and even life itself, wouldn't be worth anything if I didn't have my wife and children by my side. They mean everything to me. I have no problem with nudity. My friend Ewan McGregor and I are starkers in most of our films. I think it's a bigger risk following a part that plays up your looks than it is to try and carve out a career as an actor. On his role in The Talented Mr. Ripley, 1999, I told Anthony that if I play Dickie Greenleaf, I want to eat in the best restaurants and drink the best wines every night because he would. About working on Enemy at the Gates, 2001, yeah, I got blown up, cut up da. I remember actually, when I had to go the Ripley premiere which was happening at that time, I arrived with this huge gash in my head. Very cool, really. About his injury during Dickie's death scene in The Talented Mr. Ripley, 1999, Matt, Damon, broke my rib. But I think I strained his neck, we got a little bit carried away. About how he got the role of Gigolo Joe in AI Artificial Intelligence, 2001, through one of those fantastical phone calls when your agent calls you and says Steven Spielberg is on the phone, he wants to speak to you about his next film. And once you've peeled yourself of the ceiling, you go clear's throat, yeah, great. About the paparazzi, I throw root vegetables at them. Bozy, from the movie Wild, 1997, was the first part one was ever offered, which I suppose is sort of an insult because he's just the nastiest bastard. Well, I had to do a nude scene, in the play Indiscretions, and you're on stage naked, but you get over it, you do whatever you have to do. But the first night, my character is just getting out of the bath, and the rest of the crew had poured in freezing cold water. Salaries. Sherlock Holmes, 2009, $9 million. Sleuth, 2007, $10 million. Closer, 2004, $9,500,000. Alfie, 2004, $8 million. Cold Mountain, 2003, $10 million. The Talented Mr. Ripley, 1999, $745,000.